All right, we're at the beach. Not too many people down here today. I hope you can hear me. The wind's not too bad. Um, again, I'm going to take a walk and see what we can come up with. Okay, I'm going to just take a minute here and demonstrate something. I've had in other, this, not my last one, but uh, in previous videos, I've had people comment about swinging my detector. And uh, there's a lot of times I don't overlap my swings. There's a lot of reasons for it. If I'm in an area that's just not producing any targets, you'll lose your mind going that slow when I I could walk 20 or 20 miles in either direction. I mean, I have no shortage of area to work. And I'm looking to get into a place where there's multiple targets. But to make a point here, I'm gonna drop down a quarter right there on the sand. And it's going off and I'm, I haven't even got to it yet. So when I'm coming down the beach, ripping, ripping down the beach, you know, even if I don't go over it, if I get even a little bit close to it, I never went over it. It's been ringing the whole time. So, and then sometimes I'll come around to the left and I'm holding my beach scoop on that side. And, uh, it'll ring. I don't have to get that close to it for it to set my machine off. But I've had times out here where I've swung my detector for two hours, or just over two hours, I think is about the longest I've gone without getting a signal. And, uh, you know, as it is going like this, it's almost like the wedding march, you know? take a step and you pause. But if I'm trying to get a mile down the beach, and that could be for a lot of reasons, like here, this particular place, it's a uh, lifeguard station. There's a huge parking lot up there. It's free parking. And a lot of people use it. But there's not that many people out here on the beach this time of year. And we're kind of sanded in a little bit, so until some of this sand goes off the beach and we get down to where there's more targets, it makes for some pretty skinny days out here. And to go really slow and overlap very much, um, you just lose your mind. And in the other way I look at it is as long as the coil is moving, you're covering you know, whether you don't swing it at all and you just, you know, held it off to the side and, and walked. I've done that too in my... I've swung it so long, so many hours that I'm whipped. I can't swing it anymore. And I call it trolling, you know, where I just drag it alongside me on my way back. So, if I, if, if I skip or if I'm doing really big swings, that's because I'm walking fast, because I'm trying to get farther down the beach. Some of the hotels are better than others, you know. Um, some of the empty lots are good, because there used to be something there years ago. And you'll find older coins there, but you got to catch it on, at a time when the beach isn't sanded in, or you've got a little bit of a cut. So, hopefully I can make some kind of little video out of this explain to people uh, but it's kind of hit or miss anyway okay so the, the crazy guy talking to himself on the beach <laughs> let me see if I can find something worth digging here I'm not sure where I left off uh, discussing coil swinging. Um, the way I look at it is as long as the coil is moving, the 
because there's so much area, if, if I was looking for something in particular where somebody lost a, a ring or something in a specific area, by all means, I'd go slow, I'd overlap, and when I got done, I'd turn around and change directions and go the other way and do it again, but out here, there's so much area, and there's, especially now, there's so few targets that to go really slow, you know, it, it just depends on where you're at. It's like out here, I try my best to not dig any iron. down on the treasure coast where the 1715 fleet is yeah i would dig everything because you might find a, something made out of iron that's really cool but uh, up here not so much so it's just a matter of where you're at and the conditions but like i say i'm not hitting very much of anything here i'm not going real fast but i'm not going real slow either i'm just kind of slow walking it but, uh, you know, to, to get really mindless and just go like this, oh my God, I wouldn't get anywhere. So once I get to an area where I'm hitting on a few targets, uh, I tighten it up and I'll do circles or a grid. But a lot of it's conditions that you're, you're working in. And then when you get done, you know, I, I might be out here for, I don't know, um, six, six hours, eight hours, I don't know, it varies. And then I have to go home and look at all of the clips that I, because I film everything. When I get dig a target, I film everything. Every piece of junk in the wrap up, I filmed it. But I have to rewatch all that stuff and then assemble it. We got it down, you know, it takes a while to download it. Got a little something there. Um, back up a bit. See, and I'm dragging my scoop so I can see where I've been. Um, yeah, I'm rambling too much something there 27 and it's got four shallow four yeah I don't know let me put a few scoops on this and I'll turn it back on well there's not a lot of people out here the few that are I think I'm the only person in the water Might be some people way down there, might be, and it's hard to say, it's too far away. And I'm not out there swimming around, it's pretty chilly though. Beautiful day, I don't know what the temperature is, probably 73 maybe. And the water's cool, I'd have to say it's gotta be probably 65 or so. 60, yeah, I don't know. Targets so until we get I guess bike week and spring break start getting some people back speed weeks uh, It'll pick up here in another couple of weeks but Boy, it's just tough right now to even find anything I think we've dug a couple of impacts today in a tent stake Swinging it here, low tides, I don't know, probably still an hour or so away. I'll turn it on if I get a target. I don't know if you can see them yet, there's a couple of helicopters coming up the beach.
That might be the most excitement all day. <laughs> all right, let me get back to get back to detecting. I got to remember to quit moving the camera when I'm talking. That one here is pretty deep. I've seen everything from, yeah, 26 down to a 10, which makes me think it may not be great, but you never know. I never tell on any of this stuff. 24, you know, it could be a, could be a dime, could be a, Another piece of junk. All right. Well, that's saying there's something right there. I don't know that that's the same target. I guess it is. See, this thing reads out quite a ways, like that, so you, you know, you might hear it and it's not where you think it is. So far we've not had a lot of luck today. Ooh, that hurt. Ugh. All right. This, I'm afraid, is going to be down a little ways. getting too straight down 
and uh, getting hard to scoop it. Try the Garrett pin pointer here and see if we can find it with that. I think it's still down there, but you can see how deep the hole is. It's about a pinpointer and a half. And uh, I'm not to it yet. Oh, handle's hitting. to pull it straight up. Oh, I see something sticking out of the hole. Can you see it down in there? Well, I can see it. Well, maybe you can't see it because the camera's not pointing right. I think it's glasses, maybe. No, it's a spoon. Look at that. It's a little bit bent, but that's okay. So that's the find of the day, I guess. Alright, we'll bag it and keep going. Let me fill this hole in. You never know. in here someplace
and I'll hunt that on my way back to my vehicle. So if I find something, I'll turn the camera off. This one sounds pretty good. It's probably a penny. But it sounds like something that's recoverable. I think we got her that time. It's in here. Didn't get it. in the in this hole and what is it penny yeah all right that makes two cents today do much good to fill this hole in because the water's gonna do it for me anyway. There we go. Alright. Let me do a few spirals in case we're on a coin line. I don't know if you can see right here. Right where the waves are starting to break. It just drops right off right there. There's probably good targets right right out there where you where you can't work it. <laughs> But, there's just not a lot of stuff on the beach, so. It's hit or miss out here at any time anyways. But, uh, I had some time today and the tide was low right before dark, so I figured take advantage of it and get out here because next week it will be be a good week to get the low tide at the end of the day be in the mornings and stuff uh, so yeah very slow though I think we got two cents today I probably have a lot of video because I ran my mouth a lot and I don't know I'll see if uh, see if I can put a video together out of it but it's been really slow. Looking forward to getting the people back on the beach here. This makes for more interesting videos than this. Anyway, keep swinging here. I may have to jump up into the nasty dry sand to find a few coins. I don't know. May not bother. Just had another passing thought. This time of year that the targets on the beach are so slim right now. Anybody new to metal detecting and coming down here on the beach, it would be pretty easy to get discouraged, you know. Uh, I've been down here 
I don't know, a couple of hours, I guess. Two, two hours, maybe three hours. And I think I found two cents and a couple of pull tabs and, you know, junk. But you never know, you know, that one target you hit could be something great. But there's just not a lot of targets out here this time of year. And uh, don't get discouraged, you know. Metal detecting isn't for everybody also, you know, it, it can be really boring. Come out here and swing your coil for two hours and don't hear a chirp out of it. That's how it is sometimes. Other times you can't take a step without hitting a coin. So, just the beach conditions. Anyways, let me keep swinging. I've run my mouth so much, I don't know. May not have any kind of video at all. I'll see if I can put a little video together out of this though and uh, I'll keep that in front of the camera so you can see something. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one.